welcome to the first flag salute of 2021. Today is Friday, January 8th, and it is time to begin. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Remove hats, caps, hoods, anything else that might be on your heads. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be, oh, no, don't be seated. It's time for our school's song. Stand up loud and proud and get ready to sing the pioneer song with Mr. Riley. Oh, the pioneers, you will be true. Go ahead and go to learn all things new. We will remember you, Isabel Barnett, a place to learn and grow. We never shall forget. Good day, everybody. Awesome job, Mr. Riley. Thank you so much. We love that you are bringing us into the new year with our old favorite. All right, guys, announcements. Like I said, welcome back. We are so excited to have all of you back. And we actually welcomed seven new students to school when we returned. So welcome to all of our new students and our new families. We are so happy to have you at Isabel Barnett. Welcome to the Pioneer family. This next week is going to be super exciting because you might not think it, but we are going to have a yearbook this year. It's going to have to look a little bit different, and we're going to need a lot of help from you to make it happen, but that is going to go. So next Monday and Tuesday, look for information from your teacher about how to submit your yearbook photo, and then we will work together to get an amazing yearbook that is gonna come out for the 2021 school year. So thank you to Mrs. Elias who's spearheading that and to all of our teachers who are supporting with getting that info out. Students and families, look for it next week. Also, we wanted to let you know that we need your help. Parents, grownups, this is where we need you. In our grade level seesaw today, we are posting an activity called Learning From Home. For yearbook, we'd really like to see how students are learning from home, but we need the students in the photos. So grownups, parents, and adults, please take a picture of your child learning at home and submit it to your grade level seesaw so we can see everybody learning from home and hopefully include a ton of those pictures in this year's yearbook. All right, guys, I'm gonna pass it off to Mr. Graniel for the next announcement. All right, Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you had a great break with the family and friends and hopefully everyone was staying safe. So we just have one announcement, and that is next week on January 12th, DLAC is having their meeting, and that is the District ELAC. So parents are welcome. It is all on Zoom. So you'll get some more information on the planner. And next, it will be Miss Sherry. Sherry. Good morning, Pioneers, and Happy New Year. It's been so fun visiting with some of you this past week. I just wanted to let you know that on Monday, January 11th, we're going to be hosting our, our kindness bingo. So everybody who joins, who participates, will have their name entered into a drawing, and I will pick one winner from each grade level. For kinders, we'll be playing during lunch bunch, and I'll pick one winner from each class. And your prizes will be delivered in the mail, so look for them in the next week or two. Can't wait to see you guys on Monday. Bye. Now over to Miss Jessica. Hello, friends and families. Happy New Year. We're going to bring in the new year this month by celebrating kindness and embracing inclusions. Parents and guardians, you can join me January 19th 
at 8 a.m. for Coffee with the Counselor Hour. Well, we'll be talking about embracing kindness, embracing inclusion, and any other questions you might have that have popped up. All right, hope to see y'all there. Mrs. Bell. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. We've got birthdays, and we've got two on New Year's Eve birthdays that we didn't say last time. So hands up, everybody. Are we ready? Our New Year's birthdays are Micah Saunders. And Madeline Fox. Then in January, we have Matthew Moisa, Jacob Rorapa, Marley Augustine, Sebastian Montez, Mia Costa, Lana Talat a lot. Maybe I said that wrong. Sorry. Uh, Sophia Wang, Victoria Wang. Lorelei McIntosh, Mia Kirkpatrick, Logan Ray Alivio, oh, I got that one right too, Ryan Ochoa, Quinn Donovan, Nicholas Mercado, Gabrielle Swanson, and last but not least, Noah, let me see if I get this right, Adovasio. Adavasio, happy birthday. All right, so I have a joke from a student in fourth grade from Mrs. Young's class, all right? This is from Derek Marino. Hmm, you'll probably get this one, but it's cute, I like it. Why are blueberries so sad? Because they're blue? Because they're blue, Yay, <laughs> Mrs. Grant's <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, it's time for us to close up. Manny, it's on you, buddy. All right, everyone. I hope I am so glad and we are so glad to have you guys back. We're excited to see you guys learning virtually again. And so we will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Bye, Pioneers. Bye, Pioneers. All right, boys and girls, it is time for the first student of the week of 2021. Let's get started. In kindergarten for Mrs. Dickey's class, Liam Bicell. Liam was super duper motivated to become a letter master. He is speaking bravely in class and is making his seesaw recordings. In Mrs. Marabato's class, Addison Bayaka. Addison comes to class with a smile and a great attitude. She is working hard to master her sight words and has only 13 more to go. From Mrs. Martell's class, Kanishka Gatla and Liam Schmidt. Kanishka is always prepared and ready to learn. She loves to read and is very self-motivated. Liam always participates and loves to learn. He is an awesome student. From Mrs. Peterson's class, Elizabeth Manhart and Nicholas Frazier. Nicholas brings so much happiness to his class. He is always the first to be ready to Zoom on time, and he is amazing. Elizabeth is also ready to Zoom first thing in the morning. She arrives at school with a big smile and a happy personality. In first grade for Mrs. Greykowski's class, Lacey Bernaldez. Lacey is a star student. She is always on time and tries her best at every subject. From Mrs. Hooten's class, Jose Hernandez Ambriz. Jose works hard. He attends all of his class meetings, tries his best, and he is a real whiz at math. From Mrs. Justiani's class, Jax Belden. Jax is a terrific student. He is talented and creative. He is respectful and has amazing manners. From Mrs. Schlemmer's class, Emma Galvin. Emma is an amazing first grader. We love her willingness to share her creativity and her smile. She shines in all areas. In Mrs. Simon's class, Evelyn Heitzman. Evelyn is a hard working firstie that comes to live meets with a great attitude. She is always prepared. From Mr. Mack's class, Luke Brenier. Luke is extremely eager to learn. He listens and asks questions during each meeting. In second grade for Mrs. Ayers and Ms. Thomas, Jackson Reyes. Jackson comes to class with a smile and a positive attitude. He
he always participates and turns in all of his assignments. From Miss Camacho's class, Gabby Swanson. <laughs> Gabby is always ready to learn. She comes to class with a smile and a positive attitude. She is doing an amazing job completing all of her assignments. From Mrs. Miles and Mrs. Garcia, Nathaniel Chris Borja. <laughs> Nathaniel worked really hard the last week before break to complete so many assignments. Good job catching up. From Mrs. Walton's class, Delaney Ruiz. Delaney is such a hard worker. She is making great progress in reading groups. Plus, she's a really kind and polite girl. From Mrs. White's class, Ailea Ramsey. Ailea always comes to meetings ready to work and she is always eager to learn. She especially loves learning new things, researching, and taking notes. In third grade, from Mrs. Allison and Mrs. Hamilton's class, Zane Pais. Zane came back from break ready to learn. He has shown excellent participation in math this week. From Mr. Maurer's class, Chris Zhang. Chris is a super student. He puts thought and effort into all of his work. He always, we, we always enjoy his insight during class discussions. From Mrs. Payne's class, Emmett Noble. Emmett was selected for this award for demonstrating these skills. Number one, he is nice. Number two, he works hard to complete his work. Number three, he shows up to meetings. Four, he asks good questions. And five, he shows his face during meetings. From Mr. Riley's class, Andrew Kelly and Cameron Bell. These students have made an awesome trans transition back to school after a two week break. They are completing quality assignments, showing up to all meetings and maintaining an awesome attitude. From Mrs. Slokowski's class, Savannah Vu. Savannah is an awesome pioneer. She is super responsible about completing her work and always participates in meetings with her camera on. In fourth grade for Mrs. Kiefer's class, Ankit Mitapali. Ankit's positive energy makes learning fun. He participates in classroom discussions and shares thoughtful answers. He's kind, funny, and a really hard worker. From Mrs. Suvin Lassie's class, Xander Steinbauer and Indy Lasica. Xander and Indy have done a great job of completing their assignments and keeping up with their New Year's resolutions. We are so very proud of them for starting out the new year with a positive attitude. From Mrs. Udell's class, Athena Munoz and Evan Jones. Athena and Evan take responsibility for their work and <laughs> their learning and work on iReady for more minutes than are required. Way to go, guys. From Mr. York's class, Caitlin Walters. Caitlin has made great efforts and progress. She has shown much improvement in her focus and work completion. Keep it up, Caitlin. From Mrs. Young's class, Zoe Good, Jacob Dale, and Gianna Valdivizio. These three did an outstanding job in their class play. They were eager to participate in practice. They read their parts with such great expression, clarity, and enthusiasm. You're right, stars in the making. In fifth grade for Mrs. Elias's class, CJ Barbero and Chandler Berry. These kiddos have been turning in top-notch work and have deep, insightful ideas as it pertains to class discussions. From Mr. Fox's class, Isabella Florence. Isabella works hard each day and on every assignment. Great job, Isabella. From Mrs. Soto Hernandez's class, Julia Kelly. Julia comes to every Zoom meeting and is ready to participate and learn every single time. From Mr. Lazo's class, Elijah Weber. Elijah has a sweet and gentle spirit that endears him to others. He has made a dramatic change in motivation, participation, and academics. Wow, huge shout out, Elijah. From Mrs. Garcia's class, Kyle Lai. Kyle works very hard and completes all of his assignments every day, and he attends all of his virtual meetings. From Mrs. Gansko's class, Winston Tran. Winston has been working so hard and trying his best with his assignments. And last but not least, from Ms. Mannion, Ben Montes, Rocco Sparacino, Lindsay San Juan Rivera, and Derek Anakari. These 
these amazing readers have graduated from their literacy groups. We are so proud of your hard work and perseverance in Reading Group. Congratulations to all of our students of the week. Let's give them one huge round of applause. Can't wait to see who's recognized next week.